Hey guys, welcome back to the garage. I haven't filmed a whole lot on the 46 because there hasn't been much to film. Unfortunately, I haven't done a ton of work on it. Um, I did get COVID last month. Uh, That's the first time I've got it. And even though I feel better, I'm still, there's lingering effects from it still. Um, I still find myself very tired. Uh, so at the end of a work day, you know, I put my daughter to bed at 8, 8.30 and I really don't have much energy after that. So uh, progress has kind of slowed down a bit on the truck, but I have done a little bit. Um, I've hit a couple roadblocks, but uh, I'm going to show you, fill you in on what I've done and uh, where we're going to go from here. So uh, I'm going to start with the steering column. I was trying to figure out how I was going to mount it. This was the old mount from it. You know, it just uses a almost like a U-bolt style mount that mounts to the bottom side of the dash. Now, this is a smaller diameter steering shaft, so that didn't fit very tight. So I tried to rework it, cut it, make it a little smaller, make it a smaller diameter here so I could reuse this. And I just got frustrated with it. It wasn't turning out the way I wanted. So I ended up just making basically a solid mount to the top of the steering shaft that bolted into the factory location. And it is more rigid, but given how thin the dash is, you know, it's just thin steel, there is quite a bit of movement up and down just from the dash flexing. So I'm still gonna weld a bar from the dash bar down to a plate that's gonna bolt in there as well. So that should make it solid, solid. But uh, yeah, so the steering's come along. The shifter, this is where the problem comes into play. This is the Magnum Pro. The Magnum Grip Pro Stick. That's the part number, 81104 by b &M, and it's just a simple black, that's the cover for it, it's just a black shifter. And the problem I have, I was excited about this shifter. And, you know, it is a nice shifter. It's got the momentary switches on it, which I was gonna use for like uh, line lock and stuff like that. And I made myself this sweet mount came right in off the dash bar again, and it's removable, so I can slide this out when I want to take my dash on and off. And I ran it through one of the existing holes in the dash. And then the cable, I drilled a hole, put a grommet, and brought it down that way. So it kind of comes down the firewall. Just like that. So I was gonna tie it away from the motor. The problem though, and I'll show you, this shifter works with many different transmissions. It's even listed right here, 4L80. It's supposed to work with a 4L80. Also works, um, wait, it says it here somewhere. It works with forward and reverse manual valve bodies. But after calling Holly, because the issue I'm having is um, I cycle it through the gears, like I have it hooked up right now. I have it brought all the way back, okay? Parks all the way at the front. I, I can't remember if it's first or fourth, whatever, at the back. And if I come under here, see I've got the cable run around the back of the transmission where it's supposed to go here on the lever. If I take it off, right, so now we're disconnected. I can still go one more click. So I called Holly because they're the ones that own B&M and they own Hearst. Talked to the representative there and he basically told me he's seen this problem before even though they advertise it as being a shifter that works with a 4L80 
and it works for forward and reverse manual valve bodies. It doesn't work for a 4L80 reverse manual valve body, which is what I have. The only reverse manual valve bodies this shifter will work is a three speed. Won't work a four speed. So I'm screwed. I bought a shifter that I can't use. I even bought a cable because this shifter, like many, come with a five foot cable. Because of where I was mounting this, a five foot cable wasn't long enough. So I spent another hundred dollars and bought an eight foot cable. So now I'm 750 bucks invested into this and I can't use it. And they told me, the representative told me that B&M and Hearst do not make a shifter that will work with a 4L80 with a reverse manual valve body. Um, so that sucks. So I'm on the hunt for a shifter that will work. Um, I'm looking at a few different other brands. I'm waiting for emails back. Uh, shifters like TCI that also claim to work for my setup. Before I buy it, I want to know for sure it's going to work. So I've emailed um, TCI just to confirm that their shifter will work with a 4L80 with a reverse manual. Uh, because they have a shifter that's very similar to this. So I'm waiting to hear back from them. If anyone knows of a shifter that's good for a drag racing application that works for the 4L80 with a reverse manual, comment. I do read the comments. Um, yeah, so that's where we're at with the shifter. Kind of sucks. I'll probably end up having to redo my mount and everything again. Uh, but you run into these sometimes. You know, two steps forward, one step back. So I can't do much with the shifter. So I do have pedals I gotta put in. So that's where we're moving on to next. I just went on eBay and bought a cheap oval hot rod gas pedal. Just a simple cheap pedal. I think it was like 70 bucks. Um, and we're gonna see if we can make this guy work. I don't have a lot of room and this pedal is nice and small, but we gotta find a way to mount it. First problem I've noticed though. So the problem is the cable that comes with it has this end on it. This is the end at the throttle body. This style works with a carbureted setup. Mine is fuel injected. So if I bring it over, There's, you know, as the cable comes around, there's no way to really attach this. It doesn't, doesn't work. It doesn't work with this style thought about it. So this end does me no good. But there is a set screw in the side. So I'm gonna pull out that set screw and I picked up just a couple of these guys. So I only need one of them. They come in a two pack. And we're just gonna put one of these ends on it and that should fit in our throttle body. These are only like two bucks on Amazon. So I don't have to buy a new cable. I can just pull this end off and put one of those ends on.
guess I should have made sure this fit first before I put it on, but no big deal. But yet another setback. This doesn't fit in that hole. But you get the idea. That goes in there. Cable wraps around. And that's all it is. So I do have to find down, find out, track down a smaller diameter end. But they're super simple. Should be able to get one. But yeah, just the wrong diameter. It doesn't fit. These are the kind of things you run into when you're trying to mix match things that have never worked with each other before. You know, they're supposed to be universal. Doesn't mean they work on everything. So you gotta make them work. Sometimes you gotta modify something. Sometimes you gotta buy things twice. But we're gonna see if we can get the fuel pedal mounted anyway. Find a good spot for it. Somewhere around here. Okay, so this is what I figured out. I'm gonna mount this and this could change. But as of right now, this is where I feel the best place is. It's gonna mount up here. But, this arm swings lower than where it mounts to the floor. Like, as it swings down, you can see right here, swings lower than where it mounts to the floor. So I had to make a spacer. Sorry, but that battery died. Okay. So I had to make a spacer and all I did was I cut this out of a uh, two by three inch rectangular tubing. Here's the other half. Right. So I took a piece of tubing, cut myself the height I needed, which is basically about a half an inch. And I welded some nuts to the backside. I didn't use rib nuts for this because rib nuts would sit on top of this surface, leaving like a, a gap between this and the, uh, the surface here. And then it's not really supported when I push down the brake pedal, the whole arm, I think, would move from side to side. So I wanted this nice big flat surface for it to mount against. So I just welded nuts to the backside. But it's gonna mount like this. And that will allow the arm to swing lower than the base. Definitely not the easiest thing to weld when you've got a cage in the way. But it's welded. It's not pretty, but it's welded. And if you can see it here, you can see how close that arm comes to the floor. There's not much space there, but I do have some daylight. So the spacer works. I did drill a hole in the wall, firewall for the cable. I've got the cable run. That's really the best spot I could find uh, because it starts to curl in here. Uh, so we can't mount it over there. I'm getting awfully close to the valve cover so I can't go much lower. So it's not perfectly in line with the arm. You can see it's just, it's just off a bit. It would have been, ideal spot would have been like right about here. But it should be okay for how far away it is. But the issue I'm having now which is silly because, uh, what do I do with the cable now? Put it down somewhere. Here it is. This is the cable that came with the pedal. This is the end that attaches to the pedal. It doesn't fit. <laughs> it may have fit before they uh, coated it, but it's just anodized coating, which isn't thick and it won't fit. So I guess I gotta try and spread that without breaking it. And I'm just gonna take this chisel and see if I can spread it open a bit. I really don't wanna break it. Cause then I gotta buy new cables. Which will probably have the same problem. Starting to get there. 
Gotta go more. Well, in the end, spreading it wasn't working. So I ended up having to take a flat disc and I had to clean off this surface, take a little, like the slightest amount of material had to come off both sides. But now she's freely moving. Can't really test it out 100% yet because I don't have this end connected. I have ordered new ends. I ordered, I basically ordered a, a variety pack of different size cable stops. So hopefully one of them works. But there we go, that was a quick update. We got a little bit of work done. Um, you know, <laughs> even as you just saw, brand new parts. Brand new parts didn't even work with themselves. That cable came with the pedal and I still had to modify it. Cheap parts, I guess. I mean, <laughs> I know it was cheap, so maybe maybe that's to be expected, but uh, you think it would work with itself. But uh, we're making some progress. Hopefully I can get the shifter figured out. And uh, yeah, we gotta, gotta start making some headway on this if I wanna have it done by next year, springtime next year. But uh, that's all for today. Next video, we'll get some more done.